guys sorry for my appearance it is the next morning from our anniversary dinner and that went really good but paisley has been feeling horrible i don't know what's going on about all right sorry guys my camera died <clears throat> i was saying paisley she has not been feeling good last night about 4 30 i started getting ready for our date night and all of a sudden she just started acting really funny she kept saying her belly hurt and she wanted to lay down which is really unlike her and she's holding like the lower part of her stomach i'm out of breath sorry pregnancy <laughs> um so i ended up laying her down she took a nap which is weird because she already took a two hour nap so she didn't need a nap um she ended up falling asleep and then we had plans to go out to dinner with for our anniversary so we brought her over next door to my mother-in-law and we told her what was going on and we thought well maybe she's just hungry or she got too much sun well she ended up sleeping literally the whole time we were gone we got home about nine o'clock and she was still sleeping from the time we dropped her off at my mother-in-law's house so i don't know she's just been acting really funny she slept from 4 30 last night until five o'clock this morning and then she crawled into my bed um and she's just been i'll show you guys she's just been acting really funny hey baby a view she's got a bowl of cereal you're you gonna show your new jammies yes i love your new jammies yeah you gonna show them oh yes mommy got you new jammies at target last night right they look beautiful Paisley, where are we? Hey. Paisley. Paisley. Where are we? Um. Say hospital? Oh, really? Boo boo. But you can make blow bubbles, right? That makes it better. Yay! <laughs> Paisley, can you show me? Show me what it looks like. Oh my goodness. Yeah. You're a strong girl, huh? Yeah. Yeah. I love you. Bye. Yeah, you cried. But you're okay now, right? Just waiting to hear from the doctor. Look. I'm bored. Papa's here. Sis is watching Blippi, huh? Are you gonna go get an ultrasound done? Pays? You gonna go get some pictures of your belly? Yeah. Yeah. Anything to say? Get us out of here. You need a haircut, honey. Good boo. <laughs> we got boo boo? Yeah. I love you. Hey, baby. How you doing? Say well. Paisley. It's about, there it is, down 18. Basically. <laughs> I think she's sleepy now. Waiting on results. Which will probably come until tomorrow morning. Who knows? <laughs> hey, Paze. Pays, are you ready to get out of here? Yeah. Where are we going? Back. We're going home. Back. Backpack. Yes, 
Can you stay home? Wait, no, don't, don't get it out yet. Wait till we get in the car, honey. You guys, we are home. It feels so good to be home, but I am just extremely, extremely exhausted. I'm just so ready for bed tonight, and it's two o'clock in the afternoon. It was an awful experience taking my kid to the hospital. Um, so basically, I'm just gonna give you the little gist of what kind of happened. Um, basically, we went to Paisley's pediatrician's appointment because she wasn't feeling very well. She kept holding her stomach and saying that it was hurting like below her belly button and just saying, ow, ow, ow. And all she wanted to do was sleep. She slept from 4.30 p.m. on, what day was it? Tuesday night, or yeah, Tuesday night, she slept from 4.30 p.m. all the way until 5 o'clock a.m. Wednesday morning, and then after that, you want more orange? And then she woke up, but she was just extremely, like, in and out of it, very groggy, very, um, just not like herself. She was, like, waddling around and, like, falling and just kind of acting like she was dizzy and it's so hard to tell with a little one when there's something wrong but I just knew when she didn't want to play all she wanted to do was lay on the couch something was wrong she wasn't running any fever she did not have any vomiting or diarrhea but I was like you know what I'm just gonna call her ped pediatricians and just see what they say so we drove over there it's about four 45 minute drive and basically he looked at her and she was like fast asleep in my arms. She was just not, not her typical self. And he could tell as well, um, you know, that there was just something wasn't right. So he sent us over to the hospital. He got us a room right then and there. We didn't have to go through the ER or anything. We got to the hospital, here you go, about two o'clock yesterday. We were told that they were going to test her urine and test her do an ultrasound, maybe an x-ray. We were told a bunch of different things. So we were told that they were gonna do a ton of different testing and everything like that, and just to kind of hold tight. So we got our own room, and I called Ryan, I told him my mom was with me at the time because she came to Paisley's pediatrician's appointment with me, and thank God she did, because I would've been at the hospital for quite a few hours by myself. So finally, they ended up giving her, uh, drawing her blood, I had to hold her for that. That was rough. Um, I was trying to hold her legs with my legs and then hold her arm, you know, arms with my arms so that way she didn't move them and whew, that was rough. And then they ended up wanting to do an IV and they do it right in the top of her hand. So they did an IV on the top of her hand and I had to hold her down for that as well. They did lay her in a bed for that part and that made it a little bit easier. Uh, but it's just so hard when you're emotional already as a parent and you're having to like do all this by yourself. It was, it was an emotional roller coaster, let's just say that, because I've never had a kid in the hospital, ever. They got the IV in, all was good. She was so proud of it, but by that time of her like freaking out and crying so much, I ended up sitting with her in a chair and she fell asleep for like two hours. And then Ryan ended up showing up. He got there last night and we were basically told that we had to stay overnight at like i don't even think it was until 10 o'clock that we were told we had to stay all night long it's been a very long 24 hours i am so happy to be home i'm so grateful and i'm just so so grateful to god that my daughter is okay so basically the verdict is she had a lot of gas a lot of gas and she, I mean, she was farting all night last night and today, very smelly, and she was, they said her stomach was some, descended a little bit, but not crazy. Yeah. But all is good, she's okay. She had no sort of infections or anything with all the testing that they did. Um, and I'm just so grateful that she is okay. It is so hard to see your baby's not feeling well. She's just, she's doing so much better. And I wanna thank everybody that watches us and follows my Instagram. I was uploading on Instagram a lot, just everything that was going on. And I just wanna thank you guys so much for all your love and support and prayers. We really, truly do appreciate it. And we are just so grateful to be back in the comfort of our own home. Um, hospitals are not fun. Look at the camera. Yeah. Say I'm all better. I'm better. 
Yeah. Weston, were you a good boy for grandma? Yeah. That's good. That makes mommy happy that you were such a good boy. I love you. You guys, I have showered and my hair is actually dry, so I showered a while ago, but I feel like 100% better. So a little tired, but I'm feeling good. I've got dinner cooking. We got some stuffing here and I've got some gravy and I've got a rotisserie chicken. I just bought this from Walmart and I popped it in the oven just to kind of brown it up a little bit more and warm it up. And we've got some corn all warmed up. I just warmed it up. Let's get it out of here. I want to give my girl a good home cooked meal after being in the hospital. And Ryan deserves it too because he's had no sleep as well. And we are exhausted. So I got some dinner for him. I think that will make him happy. Why are you getting all grouchy? Because, honey, it's been a long 24 hours. No! 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 So what? No! What? <laughs> The waddle is real. <laughs> right, dear? Said the waddle is real. Yep. <laughs> Paisley's riding a bike. Her little trike. Good girl. Push your feet. All right guys, I am going to end the vlog here. It is almost eight o'clock on Thursday night and I am just ready for bed. Paisley's in bed and she's fighting it right now but I know it's just because she's overtired and I'm afraid that me sleeping in the same room with her last night at the hospital has made her kind of like, her schedule just is really off because of everything that's gone on in the last 24 hours. So, um, yeah, I'm just gonna end the vlog here. Ryan just got called in for some overtime, so he is out cutting some trees down. We're supposed to get some bad storms. But anyway, yes, Paisley is feeling much, much better. She ate a good dinner. She has just been back to her normal self, which makes me so, so happy. So she is in bed now. I think she's quiet, so maybe she's starting to fall asleep. And I'm going to follow in right behind her. <laughs> Good night, guys. I hope you liked this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe. And we will see you guys in our next one. Bye, guys.